So I need to start this video off by apologizing. Reason being is that in the last video, I told you guys that experienced CMT no longer heals trauma due to the December patch. Reason why I told you that is because that's what the patch notes say. And they also give an explanation. And then they also talk about experienced CMT here, here, and here. Once again, stating that this was buffed, safe from recovery, to mitigate the loss of trauma heal on experienced CMT. So I did not test it. I just figured if they addressed it four different times, that's because it wasn't going to heal trauma anymore. But I went ahead and I tested it. And experienced CMT still heals trauma. Not only does it still heal trauma, there's some other stuff going on in these patch notes that gave Doc a huge buff. So to show you what I mean, before we get into the buff, is I'm going to go ahead and take damage here. I have max of 100 HP, and I am going to just eat some damage here to try and get my trauma up. So my max HP is now 72, indicating that I have 28 trauma damage. So now I'm going to go ahead and use my pain pills, and then my health went up by 10%, because 10% of 100 is 10, so my health went from 72 to 82. Now, something that's very important is, remember, that number. I had 28 trauma, okay? So I'm going to close the door. Hopefully, I don't take any more trauma because of that. And I'm going to load into the next level. So take a look at the bottom left-hand corner. I now have 82 max health, indicating I only have 18 trauma damage, where before, in 1-1, I had 28 before I used EMT. And to further illustrate that, I can once again proc EMT since I'm in a new level, and my max health is going to climb up to 92. So experience EMT still heals trauma damage. So, put it back in your deck, is what I would say. <laughs> because not only is experienced DMT still going to help with your trauma problems, granted in 10% instead of 20% per level, now you're getting max stamina and stamina region, which are nice to haves, but again, the big part of this is that one card out of the four players on the team is healing for 10% of your total trauma, which is a lot. So now let's talk about some of the weird things I picked up on when testing this patch. If we go ahead and take a look at my health, I have 52 health in the bottom left-hand corner. And if I take a look at my bandages here, bandages say they're going to heal for 59. So, just to be sure, let's go ahead and take 52 plus 59 on the old calculator here. And that number is 111, so I should expect 111 HP when I am done with this. Ta-da! I have 111 HP. Makes sense. Cool. But, let's make it not make sense. Now I have 45 HP take a look at what I have in my hand now, it is pain meds. So, pain meds say they heal for 94 HP. One of the new things that happened in this December patch is that healing efficiency affects pain pills. So, if I go ahead and I go 45 plus 94 on the old calculator, I should be getting myself a big fat 139. I don't know if you can see that. 139. So, let's take a peek. Am I at 139? Survey says I'm at 153. So, since I'm at 153, what happened? Well, I went ahead and I figured it out. <laughs> to make a long story short and save you all the testing methodology that I went through, what we discovered was that there is categories in healing efficiency now. Only for temporary health. Okay? <laughs> Meaning that healing efficiency and healing efficiency from doc and medical expert are multiplicative with one another rather than additive. So you get more healing from pain meds than you would expect to. I assume this is an error because the game even reports it wrong. This is very similar to the damage video I did where I talked about all the different categories of damage for weapons and that's how you really balloon your damage up when you're using some of your characters. Except now you can do it with pain meds. So real quickly, I'll try to illustrate it to you so you can understand it a little bit better. Currently, I am not playing as Doc, so I don't have Doc's player card in the game. Also, in my deck, I do not have Medical Expert. Those are the two cards that I was telling you that are in their own category. So, as a result, let's take a look at how much my pain meds heal for. They heal for 80. So, 80 plus 74 should equal about 154. Sure enough, 154. It does what it says it's supposed to do. And to be very clear as to why my pain meds are supposed to heal for 80 here, a default pain med heals for 40. Gray pain meds heal for 40. Now, in my deck, I have two cards here. I have Field Surgeon, and I have EMT Bag. So, if I were to be going through, trying to figure out how much my pain meds are supposed to heal for, I would go over to my calculator here, and I'd be, okay, here's 40, right? Now, I would multiply that by 1.6 for Field Surgeon. But, oh, wait, never mind. Let's add another 0.4 because we have that 40% from EMT Bag. 
so let's just back that up for a second and that would equal two right so 40 times two is 80. okay so now i went ahead and i added medical expert into the deck because this is the card that i'm telling you is the one causing these weird things to happen this card and again also doc's player card so if you're playing as doc you'll get this effect too so this one just increases your healing efficiency by 15 percent just like this one increases it by 40 or this one increases it by 60 in theory <laughs> So I should with the same idea. I have one and then I'm going to add field surgeon. So that's an extra 0.6. I have a 1.6 multiplier and then I'm going to add 0.4. Okay. Now I have a two times multiplier and then I'm going to add that extra 15% from medical expert. So this should be my multiplier. So if I go ahead and I multiply that by 40, I should be able to heal for 86. Let's see if in game it says 86. It should. If it doesn't, uh oh. So. Go ahead in game and it says, I'm gonna heal for 86, okay? But what you're gonna see here is I'm not gonna heal for 86. What do I heal up to? So instead what is gonna happen is I'm going to heal up to 168. <laughs> so how much did I actually heal for there? I don't know, let's go take a peek here. I actually healed for 168 minus 76. Instead I healed for 92. So I got an extra six health out of that. So why did that happen? Here's how it's actually working. Since these are different categories, we have our healing, right? So we'll take those first two cards that we had. So we have our 40 for our gray pain meds, and then we multiplied it by, remember, field surgeon and EMT, that was only a two, right? So that's what brought us up to 80. Well, since medical expert is in its own category from those other two cards we have, we're gonna multiply it again. So 1.15, and that's how I get 92. So this means that Doc is going to get the most out of everyone with healing because of their innate bonus on their character and then also if they run Medical Expert. And part of the reason why this video means anything, it's not just for 6 HP here, <laughs> is one, we can make these numbers larger by adding healing efficiency, but two, something we need to talk about in case you did not already know this, is about group therapy. So let's take a look at group therapy here because group therapy is a card that got a buff in the December update. And what group therapy does is when you use a medical accessory here, let me bring it up here so you can see it. When you use a medical accessory, it heals all teammates for eight health. It used to be five. Now with the December update, it's eight. But something to know about group therapy after we did a lot of testing is group therapy is affected by healing efficiency. So what that means is you take that eight health and then you run it through all of these different healing efficiency modifiers. Now, I know I just got you all excited about two different categories here for your temporary health on pain meds, but I am not entirely certain that that also applies to group therapy or if something even more weird spaghetti is going on where if you use pain meds, you get more out of group therapy versus if you, if you don't use pain meds. Not even gonna go down that path, but to give you an idea of why group therapy is really really benefiting out of all these different healing efficiency things let's just say screw the categories and we'll just go back to being additive so of our 60 our 40 our 20 our 15 and then let's also play as doc so you'll have your one which is your base modifier you're going to add 0.6 for field surgeon you're going to add 0.4 for emt bay you're going to add 0.2 for antibiotic ointment and again we're going to assume it's all additive kind of how the bandages were because again the pain meds are the messed up ones so medical expert we're going to add 0.15 and then we'll also add doc's innate bonus which is 0.2 so you take all of that and then you multiply it by the base value right of eight so instead of group therapy healing everybody on your team for eight every single time you use anything your whole team is getting healed for 20. <laughs> So you could be sitting there healing yourself, right? Let's say you go through two bandages on yourself. Well, then suddenly everybody else on your team is healing for about 41 HP just off of two items because of group therapy and healing efficiency. So that is a lot of health that really just keeps everybody topped off constantly. Not to mention if you're in an emergency situation where they're on the other side of the map and you can't quite get to them, but you need to do something. If you just some pills real quick, they'll get healed for that much. That's a lot. So anyway, this is what I spent my time doing. There's also other stuff going on in this patch that I would really like to show you because it's also very crazy. So if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe for that. And we stream just about every single night on twitch.tv slash swingpoint. If you want to see those streams over there, link will be in the description in the top comment. Thank you guys so much. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys found out any other things. And then I'll see you guys in the next video that we do around here.